there, I'm Tiffany, Tiffany Hayes of Needle in a Haystack. I design quilt patterns and quilt tools, and I've been asked by my friend Deb Luttrell to give you a tour of my sewing space. I know Deb from uh, the Stitch in Heaven Cruises, and if you haven't taken one, you need to check them out. So I wanted to start right here. This is one of my favorite sewing spaces because I love to do handwork, not just my binding, but some needle applique. And so this is a great place to sit and sew. Come on in and I'll show you all my other spaces. This is Toby. He's my faithful puppy. And we're gonna come on in first to my long arm room. And Scott's trying not to tip over the dog. <laughs> I have a few quilts. They're waiting to go out and see you on lectures and trunk shows. And come on in. This is Ellie. And this is our faithful handy quilter long arm machine. We love her dearly. I actually think Scott might spend more time with Ellie these days than I do, but I do love her and she is a workhorse and does great things for me. I'm gonna back back out and I have a feeling Scott's gonna sneak by his room. Ta-da. Come on, Scott, let's keep moving. Now we have to wander through my house to get my, to my other sewing space. So here we are, coming through the main part. If you come to visit me, my sewing space is part of my living space. So you will have to come through the living room and on to where I sew. I am a lucky, lucky girl to be an owner of a treadle machine that was uh, friended to my husband to give to me for a Christmas gift and I love it dearly. Someday I will actually sew on it, I promise. Someday I will. Another thing, oh, yep. Here, check this out. This is my stash. I'm not a big stash girl. Batiks are my thing, and uh, this little mess is arranged by a six-year-old who frequents here, as well as a couple puppies who come to visit. This is where you will find me most parts of the day, in front of my computer, with my piecing ready, at my sewing machine, I have a pressing area here. I have a light box here. I have another great pressing area here. This is a work table that we picked up from Harbor Freight. And Scott did a great job of covering it for me. Uh, we wander around this way. I have a serger and I have an embroidery machine. They don't get much use, uh, but I have them. I have my lovely sign that says a quilter lives here because boy do I live here and boy do I quilt. This is a great cutting station that I have here. Um, another bit of a, a jumbled mess, but um, I think that's life, right? I have some machines that I've gathered up here. This one I purchased 30 years ago from a friend of mine. Her grandmother was selling it, and she sold it to me for $5. The other three machines were gathered, gathered by my grandparents at estate sales and yard sales, and then they were gifted to me because I'm just a lucky girl. Uh, over here I have some great shelves that Scott has built for me and they store fabric so that I can kit up a couple of kits every once in a while. If you want to come over and play, I have a Bernina you can sit at here. And uh, I want to end up with my design wall. This has to be one of my favorite spots for my quilt creativity. When I sit at my sewing machine and turn toward my computer, I can put things up on this wall and I can get a different look at them. Uh, I stage everything here and I found out that when I clean up to have some friends over and I take everything off my design board, I'm a sad girl. I love to have four or five projects up here, lots of color, lots of fun going on. And uh, so there you go. There's a quick tour of my sewing room. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, check out all the others. Thanks, Deb. Thanks for having me.